Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will in this video I will talk about the submission rule for the radiative heat transfer. So previously I've already covered uh, the reciprocity relationship and uh, and uh, also uh, the introductions of the view factors. So these videos I will guide you on the summation rule. So this is what I've been talking about before talk about before where we want to find how many of the view factors for our problems so by using n square relation so let's say you have two different surfaces surface one and surface two therefore in order for you to understand and to know how many of the view factors you have to square that numbers of uh, surfaces for example if you have two surfaces that two square is equal to four four different uh, view factors so f1 to 1 f1 to 2 f1 uh, f2 to 1 and f2 to 2 so like this so if you have two different uh, view uh, surfaces here one and two so we will have f1 to 1 f1 to 2 and f2 to 1 and f sorry f two to two so we have four view factors here so one two three four okay so fundamental relationship as uh, to solve all these fours and we have to use this relationship in order to reduce some of these uh, view factors to get uh, to actually evaluate which of these uh, view factors is actually can be calculated uh, you need to calculate without using any uh, without uh, directly knows the values of that view factors so now before this i've already mentioned about the reciprocity relationship and these videos i will explain about the submission rule so the reciprocity relationship relationship says that states that ai fij equal to aj fgi okay so if both of the areas have the same uh, dimensions both of the surfaces have the same dimension therefore you can cancel out the ai and aj so you will remain uh, you will uh, that equation will left you with fg to i and equal to fi to j where the area is the same if the area is not the same therefore fi to j does not equal to fg to i okay so what is the summation rule uh in summary, that summation rules is the sum of the view factors from surface I of an enclosure to all surfaces of the enclosure, including to itself, must equal to unity. So summation of J equal to 1 to N, F I to J is 1. Okay, what does it mean? For example, if you have one surface and then you have another surface here, 2, so you will have F. 1 to 1, F, 1 to 2, F, 2 to 1, F, 2 to 2. So you have four different view factors. And by using the summation rule, the summation rule says that summations of J equal to 1 up to 2, eh? and your number of view, uh, your surface is 2. Therefore, F, uh, 1 to 2 equal to, one okay so now uh, f one to one plus f one to two equal to one so you have to have the same uh, base number here because you want to find uh, i at one so therefore one and one f one to one plus f one to two equal to one so if you want to find f two to one therefore f two to two 1 plus f 2 to 2 equal to 1 this is summation rule okay so now what we have here we can actually uh, simplify these kinds of form after this you will see in the fig in the example uh, because we know that f 1 to 1 is equal to 0 okay f 2 to 2 is equal to 0 so therefore f 1 to 2 is 1 f 2 to 1 is 1 okay so basically the summations rule is 
to sum up all the values for the base of one okay your surface is one base surface is one and therefore all the uh, values for the base one uh, surface one will be equal to zero okay if you have three surfaces here so let's say you have another surface here three therefore f one to one plus f one to two plus f one to three equal to one this is all the uh, summation rule okay one to one plus f one to one uh, two plus f one to three equal to one so that is summation rule so we know that the sum uh, before this we know that we have four different uh, view factors f1 to 1 f1 to 2 okay this one f1 to 1 f1 to 2 f2 to 1 and f2 to 2, 2 so but how many of these view factors can be evaluated or you need to calculate it okay by using the relationship of this this relationship you may actually know how many uh, of that view factors is actually needs to be calculated. So let's say you have two different surfaces half So you you have two surfaces and two minus one Therefore you will get only one. So from one you can get the other values. Okay, so how? So how do we get one? So we know that we have f 1 to 1 and we have f 1 to 2 we have f 2 to 1 we have f 2 to 2 so we have four view factors now take a look at this uh, I draw it here so we have 1 and we have 2 so now we want to find what is f 1 to 1 we know that f 1 to 1 is equal to 0 since it is a flat surface so this value will be equal to 0. So what about F222? So F222 is equal to 0 also since this is also flat surface. Okay, plain surface. You may refer to the videos, uh, the first videos of the radiation to understand about what is F222 equal to 0. So now we left with F122 and F221. So that uh, that is the first one then we have we can use reciprocity relationship so reciprocity relationship says what so a1 f122 equal to a2 f221 so now if both of these have the same areas you can cancel out the areas so f122 equal to f221 so you may actually that mean calculated that mean or calculated f1 to 2 or f2 to 1 so either one of these so that's why the value of this is equal to 1 so either you can evaluate here this one or this one okay that is only applicable for uh, the values uh, of a1 and a2 is uh, the same if it is not the same you may rearrange this equation eh? so a1 f1 to 2 equal to a2 f2 to 1 so rearrange the equation to get what is f1 to 2 a2 over a1 f2 to 1 so this relation okay so you may determine the first one f1 to 2 to get what is f2 to 1 so that's why the value of uh, this equation uh, result with resulting with one value okay uh, from this four you may only can determine you may need to only calculate one uh, view factors to get others. Okay, let's go to the example 22, the view factors associated with two concentric spheres. So that means the view factors associated with the enclosure formed by two concentric spheres shown in figure 1310. Actually, the figure is below. This is the figure of 1310. So what we have to do here so we have two different uh, surfaces now we need to know how many of the view factors okay how many of the view factors so two square you have to square the number of surfaces the number of surfaces here is two two square equal to four so this is number of view factors so how many of the view factors needs to be calculated in order for you to determine all those fours so we know that some of the uh, view factors can be directly known 
uh, which is the values of that view factors is equal to zero. But now, uh, for those uh, view factors that needs to be calculated, we have to use uh, some of the formula or the summation rules. So now, we have to determine how many of the view factors needs to be evaluated. Lah. Okay, from the equation of half times with number of uh, surfaces times with 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Okay, only one view factors needs to determine and you can uh, get uh, the values of others. So now we have four V factors. What are the V factors? F1 to 1. And then the second one is F1 to 2. Third one is F2 to 1. And then the last one is F2 to 2. So we have four different view factors here. So now we take a look at which view factors can be, uh, uh, which few factors is equal to zero. So let's take a look at F1 to 1. So now F1 to 1 is this one. This surface 1 to 1 is equal to zero. So you may refer to the previous videos and uh, to understand about the F1 to 1. So F1 to 1 is equal to zero. Which uh, of others values that will be equal to zero? So no, there is no other view factors that will be equal to zero. And then what about F1 to 2? So F1 to 2, this enclosure uh, surround the, surrounded uh, this inner surface, inner sphere surrounded by the outer sphere. So therefore F1 to 2 will be equal to 1. This is only the case of that surfaces is fully surrounded by this inner sphere. Okay, inner sphere is fully surrounded by the outer sphere. Okay, that's why F1 to 2 is equal to 1. So for the F1 to 1 is equivalent to 0. Because that, uh, it cannot strike back to that, uh, to, to surface 1. Okay, now... Uh, we take a look at F2 to 1 and F2 to 2. Okay, F2 to 2. Do we, uh, from the previous, we know that this is the sphere. Therefore, if it uh, radiates the energy, F2 to 2, eh? F2 to 2, if it radiates energy, it will be the same as the concave surface. Where if the concave surface F2, F2 to 2 is not equal to, zero so therefore we cannot equal to zero for this f2 to 2, 2 and f2 to 2, 1 also is not equal to zero lah, of course okay so now we have two view factors needs to be determined wait we know that there is another rule that can be used in order for you to determine the view factors okay so we know that the summation rule from 1 to 2 J, F, uh, summation rule, okay, sorry. So we know that the summation rule says that F2 to 1 plus F2 to 2 equal to 1. F2 to 1 plus F2 to 2 equal to 1. This is summation rule, okay. So in order for us to determine what is the value of F2 to 2 is 1 minus F2 to 1. We can we can we cannot solve this problem since we do not know what is f two to one. Wait, we have another relation, reciprocity relation. What does reciprocity relation state? So a one f one to two equal to a two f two to one. Okay, so f we want to find what is F2 to 1. Therefore, therefore F2 to 1 equal to A1 over A2. F1 to 2. So we know that the value F of F1 to 2 is 1. So we can calculate what is the value of F2 to 1. So the area is 4 pi r squared. Uh, 4 by r1 square for the area 1 sphere yeah? divided by 4 pi r2 square and f1 to 2 is 1 therefore equal to 1 
So f to 1 is, you can cancel out, r1 square over r2 square. So we already get f to 1. Therefore, substitute into this equation, we may get the value or the equation for f2 to 2, 2 is 1 minus r1 square over r2 square. So we already solve because there is no uh, radius given here, the, amount, uh, the value of the radius. Therefore, we will remain it as this equation or relationship. Okay, that is how we solve uh, for the summation rule. Lah. So the focus here is this summation rule. So if you are calculating the summation rule for the surface 2, this is for surface 2. So therefore, all the, 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 the front uh, numbers here must be 2. So if you have three uh, different, surf different surfaces, you must have F21 plus F22 plus F23 equal to 1. Okay, that is summation rule. Okay, that's all for the summation rule. Thank you.